And the thing that everyone is talking about is how so many people died on that ship. This despite it having an escape hatch. News is Shannon Handy joins us now with more on the boat's layout and what one local diver who's actually been on board that ship is saying tonight. Shannon. Beverly and Carlo, the conception has three levels or decks. Now this diagram shows you where the victims were sleeping. You can see the beds as well as the stairwell right here leading up to the galley. Here is a picture of that area. According to officials, this this stairwell was blocked by fire. We spoke with a local dentist who has been on this boat twice and he says this staircase is actually open at the top. So like many, he's surprised no one could escape. The vessel full lane global now. Roger, and there's no escape hatch for any of the people on board. Calls for help during Monday's boat fire near Santa Cruz Island indicate there was no way out for the 34 victims presumed dead. During a news conference Tuesday, officials said while there were no locked doors, the flames were just too intense. Uh, there was a stairwell to get uh, down the main entryway up and down, and there was an escape hatch. And it would appear as though both of those were blocked by fire. Down below is the galley. Cell phone video from inside the conception shows what that stairwell looks like. It was taken by a friend of Dr. Weston Spencer during a dive trip the two took last October. It would have never crossed my mind that this is how something bad would happen on that boat. Dr. Spencer described the sleeping quarters inside the 75-foot three-deck boat as seen here on diagrams and pictures. He says the stairwell to and from that area, which leads to the galley, is wide open, though you'd have to exit the galley to actually get off the boat. Despite the fire, he wonders how it's possible so many people were unable to escape. There'd have to be a massive, you know, blockage for you to not be willing to go through just about anything to get out the big exit space. Dr. Spencer has been on the conception twice with another trip booked for next month. He's not aware of any escape hatch, but says the crew always went over safety measures with every single passenger on board. In my experience was I knew where to go, how to take care of myself and what to do on that boat. And they did everything they could to make sure I was aware of that. At this point, it's unclear what started the fire. The victims were sleeping at the time. Meanwhile, the crew was awake on the top deck. Dr. Spencer says his heart goes out to everyone involved, saying he had envisioned taking his children on a diving trip aboard the Conception one day. I can't even imagine. And the Conception launched in 1981. It's very well known within the community. The investigation, of course, continues. Barbara Lee.